Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we dine as kin, beloved family of God. We share the body of Christ the Lord. Here we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to each other. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Lord, you are good and for. 
forgiving. You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit is to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in, the, in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slave said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, 
First collect the wheat and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. He proposed another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. That person took it sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundation of the world. Then dismissing the crowds, he went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun, in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear the Gospel of the Lord. There's an old Cherokee story which compares the human heart to the den where two wolves live in keep battling each other for dominance. One of the wolves represents the person's courage, generosity, and honesty. The second wolf represents their selfishness, their, their cowardice, and their deceitfulness. And the two continue to battle. One will never kill the other but the person can decide which one is going to become stronger and more dominant because each one gets bigger every time that we choose to feed it. I really like that story. It's a powerful idea. And it's one that really feels to me like it matches the the ideas that Jesus is talking about in his parables today. Because our world and our hearts are both like the field that Jesus is talking about. In both the world and our hearts, there's going to be a mixture of good and evil. And there's going to be this instinct in us that's like the idea of the servants in the parable, to go in and start ripping things out. Because if we can get rid of all the bad people, if we can get rid of what is bad in us, then all that will be left is what's good. Jesus warns that that's not going to happen till the end. Rather, what we need to do is let what is in us grow until it's clear, what is in the world grow until it reveals itself. And only at the end will all be separated out. Until then, Jesus wants to give time, wants to give mercy, wants to give everyone the opportunity to be transformed, to repent, to 
convert themselves into who they're meant to be. Each of us has the choice whether we want to become wheat or weeds. Because the more that we feed the best parts of ourselves, the more that we strengthen those things, the more that we let them become our focus, our center, the stronger they become. And they go from being small seeds to great bushes. They go to leaven our hearts. And by our, then our thoughts, words, and action, they go to leaven the world. And so it's so important that we are working to make sure that we are strengthening what is best in ourselves, what is best in our culture. That we're not so focused on trying to destroy what we don't like. And we forget that it's so much more important to make sure that we are feeding the good wolf. That we are working to make sure that we are building up our generosity, building up our honesty, building up our courage, our wisdom, our kindness, our mercy, our forgiveness. That we are practicing those things, that we are thinking about those things, that we are praising those things in ourselves and in others, rejoicing when they succeed. Because that way, those things will keep being strengthened and ingrained in our hearts. And the weeds will become ever fewer and ever weaker. The Lord is patient with us. Thankfully, He gives us every opportunity to come to repentance and accept His grace. Let us have that same patience with ourselves and with one another and constantly work to build up what is true, what is good, what is holy in ourselves, in our families, and in our culture. Because those two wolves are going to keep battling until the final day, neither of them will lay down and give up. But if we're working to keep the one that represents what is best in us, well-fed and in fighting trend. We'll find that in our decisions, in our world, that wolf will keep guiding us to what is truly good and will create a foretaste of the kingdom of heaven right here in our world. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we turn to the Lord, bringing forward all of our needs and petitions, asking for the grace we need to become ever greater versions of ourselves to help shape the world to what it's called to be. That the church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust rooted in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the servant leaders of our community work to guard the quality of our environment, air, and water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed and assist them with needed services and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may greet the underprivileged and the handicapped, seeing in their faces the countenance of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the recently departed members of both parishes, including Joan Walsh and Madeline McCain, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we guard the sanctity of the Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and source. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the intentions for this Mass today, Cullen Walsh, Lois Clergy, John Clergy, John W. Clergy, and Peter Randall, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for hearing us and for all the ways in which you continue to pour out your grace upon us. We ask you to help us open our hearts to that grace and be transformed by your loving power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, when the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, 
and make it holy as he blessed the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hope, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, but the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servants Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, grant us peace, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. This weekend we will have a, a missionary speaker at the Sunday Masses, so I do ask everyone to please pray for the success of the missions um, this weekend and and regularly throughout the year. Now let's pray together the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, 
the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. He will release me from the nets of all my foes. He will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I need not shrink before the terrors of the night, nor stand alone before the light of day. No harm shall come to me, no arrow strike me down, no evil settle in my soul. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day.